Hi and welcome back to Terrain by Aaron. So when I started this channel around a month ago, a little bit over a month ago, um, this was my very first build and it consisted of a table tennis ball and beads and it was basically some kind of steampunk robot. Uh, it's still got the highest views out of all the videos so far. So I thought I'd try to do something new and make deep sea uh, robots using uh, table tennis balls. Um, because it seems that you guys seem to like uh, the very first video. So I'm just going to try and upgrade and simplify what I built in my first video. So we're going to start with some just regular Eurostar table tennis balls. Um, there's my new toy and I stuff the first table tennis ball up and have a crack at the second. And then I'm just going to, I use the file just to sand everything down so I can get a better surface contact when I put the uh, super glue on. So I'm just going to make a body out of two table tennis balls and then start adding everything else gonna use some baking soda baking powder I call it the good stuff because it helps bond the super glue to the surface you can use the uh, the activator spray um, but I like using the baking soda so I'm gonna go back to using some beads here's my second best toy that I've just bought um, and what I'm doing is I'm just heating the plastic gently and then pushing the beads uh, inside the plastic so that the beads have some sort of inside bit to go into. If that makes sense, it makes sense to me. Um, also, it's it's better than me trying to use dowling rod to try and make um, the beads pop into the uh, table tennis balls. So I'm using a lid from, uh, it could be a milk bottle, could be iced tea bottle. I'm going to use that as the base and I'm just going to cover it with uh, some uh, hot glue to make it look like it's like a jetpack. I decided that um, since it was underwater, um, I'd use the glue to represent jets of water coming out of the uh, jetpack. This is an old super glue bottle that I'm just going to... Uh, dismantle and use. I'm going to use that for the front visor and then the actual bottle is going to be the like jetpack on the back. All these little small random bits are from squeezy bottles, um, spray bottles that I've just dismantled, taken apart. You get so many bits and pieces from spray bottles um, and if you do start making this sort of stuff, don't throw anything away because um, there's always something that you can use. So I'm just using, decided it wasn't going to have any um, any arms, it was just going to have a um, sort of like two, two guns at the top and then the bottom uh, beads that represent its legs are going to be the uh, the jets that can move it around. Yeah, I uh, I thought about this too long, I think. But, um, yeah, so what I'm just making now is just like a little um, laser gun or harpoon gun or something using the uh, the bottle lid from the old uh, disused super glue bottle. 
and then I'm just uh, sticking it into place. Got some metal washers, I got them from the uh, Eurostar. Gonna use them to uh, just bulk up the beads at the bottom just to give it some texture. Um, and the bolt is again from the Eurostar um, that I just thought I'd just pop in just to give it some sort of look, I suppose. Just super gluing it into place. Make sure it's not going to go anywhere. And then realise I didn't really measure it because I had the jetpack on the back to put on. But luckily it was down low enough so I could actually get the jetpack on. Using a wooden bead, just going to hot glue it into the uh, hole at the bottom of the super glue bottle. Just to make it look like a vent. Um, and I'm just, no real plan, I'm just putting stuff, trying stuff out, seeing what it looks like, um, putting some more washers on just to give it a bit more uh, texture and to try and take it away from the look of a bead. Um, and then I add some more little, uh, little beads just to make it look like some more air vents or uh, whatever you want to call them. I bought this random um, game from the uh, Eurostar and uh, I'm just going to use the counters just to uh, cover up the holes at the back of the beads and you'll never know. Um, I'll probably save the actual blue uh, base for some other sort of build later on. Uh, and this piece of plastic, I have no idea where I got this from. Um, found it at the bottom of my uh, my bottle um, cap box. The uh, the little drill is terrible, so I'm uh, just using. The old, uh, the old method of just pushing it through with uh, my hobby knife. If you notice, I use two hobby knives. Uh, one's black, has sharp nail, uh, the sharp uh, blade, and the silver one has the blunt blade. The uh, clothesline again was from the Euro store. I'm just going to use that as uh, piping, air piping, intake piping. Uh, I'm just trying to get the holes to fit so it'll uh, easily fit once I get it all glued together. Again this small piping um, that I'm cutting up into little small bits that came from a uh, spray bottle. Um, again everything from a spray bottle is uh, is great stuff for scratch building um, and I just like making these little little holes and um, it just adds texture just random bits that I just uh, put around and then I'm just cutting some more up for the other side and just using super glue to stick it into place Adhesive beads, um, but I use super glue just to put them in. I use these to represent rivets. Um, I do like using these, and uh, that's the. I'm putting them round the uh, so it looks like a visor. Uh, Q-tip or cotton bud tip. I'm just uh, going to use that for an antennae at the bottom at uh, the back of the backpack and um, this is a cardboard one unfortunately we can't get the plastic ones anymore um, and then I'm just gonna put a few more beads on just to cover up some uh, some joins and 
now I'm just going to put the jetpack, put some more of the adhesive pearls on, um, and then um, it should be ready for painting very shortly. So decided to use a white spray primer uh, and then that didn't turn out very well so I used a um, bronze uh, primer uh, so that's the base coat so all I'm going to do now is just use a basic black just to fill the holes in in the visor and then I'm just going to go around and use silver paint just to touch up the rivets and then I'll use a different color for the uh, for the piping so I thought I'd use this one because I'm always using darker colors so I thought I'll put more a bit more color to the uh, to the grand scheme of things make it stand out a little bit more So for the base, just a bog standard blue and then I'm just going to dry brush some white over it just to give it some sort of wavy effect uh, and then I'm just going to put some um, some rust and some tarnish onto the robot and uh, it'll be good to go. using um, army painter rust just to go over certain parts then I'll use my homemade tarnish just to reapply it over certain other bits and then I'm going to use a wash and then the job is done so as always thank you for watching if you like what you see you know what to do hit all the correct buttons and I shall see you next time thanks for watching